Amid plans to revive downtown Kingston as a major commercial center, a growing concern that may hamper that push, a shortage of parking spaces. It's an issue right across the corporate area, and as TVJ's Kirk Wright now explains, it seems to be getting worse. Try finding legitimate parking in Kingston City, and you could end up a frustrated motorist. The parking is not ad adequate for um, the customers in this metropolitan area. It is a challenge, because um, especially if I have to go on the road during the days, during the week, it's very difficult to find parking. Half a tree and downtown, I prefer to charter a taxi to take me if I have to do business in those areas during the week. Depending on the time of day, available parking often means squeezing into a tight space, a skill some motorists lack even those driving small cars. We are aware that a lot of traffic congestion, and some of it would, would come from the people moving around trying to find the parking spaces. These yellow lines mean no parking, and they are all over the city. On top of that, there are clear no parking signs and personalized signs indicating parking for different institutions. Lenworth Kelly, an engineer, says the lack of parking is serious, but not yet critical. We are certainly headed there. Motorists disobey warnings and park illegally almost daily. But there's a price to pay, and today, this man will have to dig deep in his pocket to get back his car. On a typical day, records operated by the Kingston and San Angelo Municipal Corporation, KSAMC, will tow approximately 40 cars in total. The corporation owns two of them, which constantly rove the city looking for offenders. There is a culture for people to, and a, a mode of behavior developed over the years of some motorists just prefer to park anywhere along the, 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 along the street. And they may figure that they're just going to do something short and they park somewhere along the roadway. That is something that we have to change. But people doing business in the city want safe and convenient parking, the one thing most businesses lack. For example, courts, courts there. And so, for example, you come to pick up a piece of furniture. You're going to be obstructing traffic for some time. So they really need to work on the parking and, and renovating of this, the whole area. Geraldine Smith double parked recently when she went to an ABM on Lower King Street. The parking is way over on the courthouse side, and um, you have to drive all the way upstairs and then walk all the way back down here. If you're coming to get cash, you're going to have to walk all the way back up there with that. I don't think that is safe. These are common scenes on King and Orange Streets, vehicles loading up for delivery, but that adds to the congestion downtown. The hassle in finding legal parking is more difficult in New Kingston. The KSA MC operates several parking lots in New Kingston, which are usually full. After five, when the lot officially closes, there are different and unauthorized arrangements. A few multi-story parking garages exist in the business district, but they do little to ease the parking problem. Kirkwright, TVJ News.